Okay, so this is a super quick explanation of how to um, have multiple scenes in JavaFX and then switch between them by the press of a, of a button. Um, so um, I shared um, before this link uh, with you um, to do Hello World and it has a simple um, example of adding a button and then you press the button and it displays Hello World to the console as we see here. In this but we're gonna take this and we're actually gonna morph this into um, something that has multiple scenes and then have this action handler where we don't need all of this but you can have it if you'd like um, and, but we don't need all of this we only need a portion of it and a portion that we need is right there and then the switching of the scenes to have multiple scenes but um, just very quickly um, I'll explain this as as simple as I can um, in this simple Java FX program called your application we're gonna change that name in a second um, we're having the default um, what I think is for all um, primary stages um, for JavaFX is we're going to set the stage and we're going to call it primary stage think of it as like in the theater we have um, we may have multiple stages and depending on that play or whatever the audience may turn to one stage and then turn to another well inside a stage you can have scenes and think of scenes as like the stuff that's inside the stage like a chair a couch some background or whatever so we can always switch between the different stages and then inside that stage we have different scenes and think of it as the props and stuff in there so we have this primary stage what we're going to start out with and we're going to just fill it in with some stuff so that stage or that that that's that stage has a scene of props and then we have a layout. It's kind of like where the things go inside that, inside that, um, that scene, um, which is on the stage. So here we're just saying we're going to have our scene. These are the dimensions of our scene. So it's um, 300 by 250. We're going to add a button uh, to that stage. And that's what we're doing here. We're creating a button. We're saying this is where it's, um, it's X and Y is going to be, um, its location in that layout. And then we're going to just say that the text of that button that we're placing on our scene is saying hello world. So that's the default that the button is saying. And then we're going to have an action listener. So when the person or the user presses the button, um, it's going to do something. So the action listener is here. So we're setting on this button, setting some action. It needs an event, an event handler. So when something is going to take place, an event in this case is going to be a click on that button. We're going to do whatever code is in here. And the code that's in here, just in this example, is we're going to print to the console hello world and then so to finish that off we created this button so think of it as like we have this button we have this chair let's place it in a scene so we're going to place it somewhere in the scene that's what we're doing here we're adding it and then we're going to say that the the audience should be looking at the stage that we just created in a scene so we're going to set the primary stage we're going to set its scene is going to be the scene that we just created and we're going to show so that's how what you would do for a single scene, um, but let's actually complicate it a little bit. And here's an example. I, uh, later on, I'm going to show you an eclipse. We're going to merge this into um, something with multiple scenes. And so here we have multiple scenes. We're going to have two scenes, and we're going to just add so we can change back and forth. But I'm going to provide you with these two examples, um, with these two links. Um, and if you're looking at this on the YouTube video, I'll, I'll add it to the um, description of this of the video. But um, so we have these two and let's actually merge them into each other. So we're basically taking this and we're going to have multiple scenes. So um, inside Eclipse, what I've what I've done is let me move this over a little bit and maybe I can pop up the console when we get running. So I, I've created a, a, um, a quick Java program that took that that first example and I'm just going to call it test button. It's going to have multiple scenes. So what we've seen before, um, just like what I just explained, we're going to have to have a, um, a primary stage. So we're going to set it up. This is what we're going to be looking at. I guess the audience is going to be looking at. And we're going to add scenes. So I've added, we had scene before. Now, because we're going to have multiple scenes, this one is scene one. And now we have scene two. So we're going to have two scenes. They're going to virtually be the same for this example, but you'll be able to customize it to have whatever you want. So we have multiple scenes, and then this group here is the layout of the scene. So, um, so group one is the layout of scene one. Group two is the layout of scene two. Just see it as um, this is where uh, the layout, where we're going to place chairs and stuff inside that scene. In this case, it's going to be buttons. And then so we have our primary stage. Let's go ahead and fill our first scene with some stuff. So I'm going to add that button that we had, Hello World. So everything is exactly the same as the, as the example from that website. But we have Hello World, and we're going to just set. Now, 
on the change, we're gonna make one primary change from that example, right? So on the button, we're gonna set on action. So the action what's gonna take place when the user presses this button is going to be, we're gonna change the scene. So the scene we're gonna say is on some event, in this case, it's gonna be a click, we're going to set that primary stage, we're gonna set the scene to scene two. So this is all for scene one, as you can see in my comment, it's for scene one. But when the user presses this button, which I'm just labeling it, hello world, I guess we can, I was trying to keep it everything the same, but you can have this called um, scene one, so then when, the, or scene two, so when a user presses scene two, it's gonna switch to scene two. But I'm gonna keep it hello world. And so we have a button that says hello world. When they press it, it's going to change it to scene two. You're probably asking, well, what's scene two? We never defined scene two. Well, scene two, we're gonna define it down here. So here's scene two. Um, it's gonna exactly be just like scene one, except for now we're gonna have individual buttons. So we have scene, I mean, we have button two, button two, button two. Um, I changed the location of the button just so it's a little bit different. So we're gonna see a shift. And then um, the text is, oh no, I'm in the multiverse. Um, guess that reference there. But uh, we're going from hello world to the multiverse when the user presses. And then when it presses, we're gonna change the scene. We're gonna change it back to scene one. So notice that this and this are different. So if we're looking at scene two, we probably wanna switch back to scene one. So we have scene one here. If we're looking at scene one, we probably wanna to switch to scene two. So that's why we have this here. So these two are different. Okay, and then lastly, like here and here, we're adding these buttons to that group, to our layout. So this one, I'm adding the button to this group one because we're seeing one up here and then down here we're doing the a very similar thing where we have um, the button we're adding it to scene two so we're going to add this button we're going to add it to, to to scene two's layout so group two so now we have the scene one is filled in scene two is filled in and the last part which you probably saw in that last example on the website is we need to set the scene what the users or the audience or whatever is currently looking at by default we're going to set it to scene one and we're going to show so the show is important because it actually kicks off our stage it like reveals the curtain of of our play of our theater so let me go ahead and run this and i hit run and I hit that so here's the window there's multiple scenes that's the title that we have up here for our stage that we have the whole window is the stage in JavaFX, we have this hello world button, which is button one that we defined up here. What you're looking at is scene one because we define hello world and scene one, and this is the layout of scene one. So when I press this button here, something should change. In fact, it's going to change our scene. So when I go ahead and press it, you notice now we have a new button. It's actually this button that we created. In fact, this whole thing here inside is scene two. So in here, now we're looking at scene two. Oh no, I'm in the multiverse. Let me get out. Let me go back to my world. I press this, it switches back to scene one. And the oscillation is because we've set it here. We're flipping between scene one and scene two. So, hello world, oh, I'm in a multiverse. Uh, press it, click it, press it, press it. I'm, I'm switching between the world and, and multiverse. But that's it, that's how you quickly add a scene. You can fill this in with whatever you want given the different, um, this here is the length and width um, of, of these um, of these buttons, uh, but Actually, I, th I think it's a default. Um, it's a setting. The uh, yeah, it, it is setting the, the length and width. But um, but you can add labels as long as so. Let's say you create a label or more buttons or whatever. Um, you can change the um. You can change. You can add them to your to your um to your layout to your respective layout here. Just throw them into add. There's also add all, so you can do like button, uh, one comma button two comma button three comma comma label if you wanted to have some labels oh these are i'm sorry um these are the uh the location the um the resolution location on the window so this is going to be at location 100 by 80 um on that window that we pop up but you can add anything that you want inside your layout and change it so if i wanted to have multiple buttons in scene two but only one button scene one just create more buttons there and then uh, throw them into the ad it's fully customizable um you can also throw these um, into like this whole um, scene one and stuff into a different class, but maybe that's getting more advanced. But, <clears throat> but just just play around with this, and and if you can get the simple um, solution um, going, I, I think it's uh, it'll be good for for the rest of your project.